somebody stops the bleeding. Fumbles it. Kevin Byard to the house. Harold Landry. Derek Henry. Touchdown, Titans. And Derrick Henry becomes the third back in franchise history with 60 rushing touchdowns. The Titans come to North Florida and get it done. Big win. What's going on, everybody? Welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith. This is... It's CJ2K right here. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. Uh, Chris Johnson, it is good to have you back, sir, especially coming off of this game. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, if you noticed uh, on the open here, ladies in the house, we're celebrating a, a big weekend this weekend. This is our crucial catch week. We are, are uh, bringing awareness to uh, catching cancer early. We have all breast cancer survivors in the house. Give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> Warriors in these seats. So thank you for being here. We're honoring you tonight and this weekend's game. Uh, now talking about uh, this game that was Chris Johnson, my man. What a game it was. Yeah, it was a pretty good game, man. Pretty good <laughs> game. Pretty good. I was game. actually at the game. Yeah. I know. I caught your Instagram story. I was at the game too, but I'm in the cheap seats. You roll. You roll nice. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good game, though. Yeah, yeah, it was definitely a good game. Um, just to see how they continue to ride Derrick Henry through it. Like, if you were sitting there at the game, you wouldn't know he had as many yards as he had. But, you know, if you can continue to feed, feed him throughout the game, you look up, he got 30 carries, 130 yards, three touchdowns, and um, just can't stop it. See, my man's already into it. All right, we're going we're gonna to get into this game. But I do have to ask before we, get, before we break down the game, when you watch football games now, I mean, look, man, you're young, you're in shape. Is it difficult? Do you want to get out there? You want to suit up? Yeah, I, I want to get out there game day, but not football practice and not training camp. None of that. That's too <laughs> okay. much. Not film study, none of that. I just want to get out there on just, Sunday, like how everybody else thinks. Got it. Just get out there on Sundays and play the game. <laughs> but the work's a lot. All yeah. right, well, uh, let's get into it. Let's break down the game. Here's some uh, hot takes with CJ. Uh, you heard the man talking about it. Uh, we've been talking about uh, Derrick Henry for a long time, as we should. He's earned it. Uh, you know, he only had, what, what, 31 yards in the first half? Mm -hmm. uh, not getting a lot. They were kind of containing him. But everybody knows if you watch, it's just a matter of time, right? Yeah, you got to keep giving it to him. The guys, they're going to come up. They're going to want to hit him during the first half. But if you keep giving it to him third, fourth quarter, the guy's not going to want to hit him. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He's a big guy. Those, once he gets in the second there, those guys definitely don't want to hit him. Well, I mean, and to be so full of injuries, so strong, so much later in the game, I mean, you can speak to it. You played this game at, at the highest level. How difficult is that to be so uh, full of energy in the fourth? Um, it's definitely difficult, but that's what you train for in the offseason, to be at top shape so you can survive for a quarter sometime overtime. Yeah. Um, uh, what a lot of people got to understand is, is chess is not checkers, so okay. you know it's it's a long game. Yeah, it's interesting to watch the defensive backs celebrate when they tackle him on the line of scrimmage in the first quarter, yeah. as if that's the game, and then they're running away from him, like you said, and late game, especially that late touchdown, they backed away from him. Yeah. Uh, moving on, talking about the rest of the game, I mean, what did you think? Of the overall game plan, Todd Downing, the offensive coordinator, I thought uh, saw a, a lot more sort of creativity this game. In the mm. game prior, it was a heavy uh, McNichols screen game. Didn't see a lot of that this time. Yeah. We saw Cam Batson in the Wildcats. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was different this game. You know, being that we didn't have Julio, mm -hmm. and then AJ, he was he he played, but we could tell he wasn't himself. But um, we mixed it up with a little Wildcat, mm -hmm. also throwing Derek the ball some stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it was a good mixture. But at the end of the day, you know, we had to come back to yeah. our bread and butter, and everybody know what that is. Yeah, absolutely. Get back to Derrick Henry. Uh, getting back to that Wildcat, though, I'm really curious because we put Derrick back there a few times, saw a jump pass from him uh, before. Uh, did you ever uh, play any Wildcat at East Carolina? Did you ever get, get the ball in your hands quick like that? Um, no, I never did. But when I was in college and then when I was here in, in Tennessee, it wasn't big. It had just started. I can't remember Rennie Brown. 
them they was doing it yeah. in Miami, but yeah. um, it wasn't big, but now it's getting big, bigger yeah. now. Well, you got to get the ball in your playmaker's hands, and yeah. you're one of the biggest playmakers I've ever met. So, I mean, just chomping at the bit to get a play mm. like that. Another guy that we want to uh, tip our hat to, uh, Harold Landry is having a season so far. Right. It's still right. early. Right. The guy's getting back there. He's, got, he's the only NFL player uh, in, in the first five games with at least five pressures per game. Um, Super, super quick uh, to the quarterback. What do you see when you when you look at a guy like that? Oh, man, he just – that's something that we needed. We needed a pass rusher. Um, you know, we um, Jarrell Casey ended up uh, retiring. Mm -hmm. He was here the year before or whatever. But we needed yeah. somebody to come in there and fill them shoes and get pressure on the quarterback. Um, you know, today's game is a passing league. Sure. So you got to have somebody there to disrupt the quarterback so yeah. you help the secondary in the back end get some interceptions and stuff. Absolutely. Well, and, you know, uh, Jeffrey Simmons uh, is, is the reason for a lot of this. The Jeffrey Simmons is taking on three guys. Harold Landry's mm -hmm. getting, getting his opportunities. Can't wait to see Bud Dupree on the field to join him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, he's a piece. That's going to be a uh, uh, nightmare fuel for those offenses. All right, we've got lots more Titans Blitz on the other side with a man, CJ2K. Stick around right now. Here's some Nissan memorable moments. We will be right back. Rolling right, firing, man is wide open at the five, and walking into the end zone, through it, touchdown Titans! Arch being chased, being sacked! Landry, touchdown Titans! The Yuli Bulldozer, now 29 carries for 130 yards, and count them, one, two, three <laughs> scores! Mm-mm-mm. Okay. All right. To the Titans Blitz, I'm Lance Smith hanging out with Chris Johnson. We've got our breast cancer survivors in the house as we uh, celebrate our crucial catch game this week. Uh, taking a break from the X's and O's right now. I don't know if you caught the show last week. Uh, I don't know if you talked about this. I had tweeted out right before the Jets game that Bill Cower had, um, well, he picked the, uh, the Jets uh, in an upset over the Titans. I said I'd rename my youngest daughter Bill Cower if this happens. I don't know if you caught wind of this, CJ, but Bill, Bill saw that. Thought it was funny and uh well wanted to catch up with me and uh maggie who i had to rename bill cower <laughs> check this out the kick on the way does it have the distance it's no good jets win it in overtime <sighs> hey Look, well, it's Lance, so it's Lance and Maggie, a.k.a. Bill Cower. Um, <laughs> you just felt so good about your team, the Tennessee Titans, <laughs> that you said, if that happens, I'll name my daughter Bill Cower. I, there's you, no way. There's no way. I mean, I, our offense was on a roll. I felt good about our, our squad. And, and, you know, look, no disrespect to the Jets. I realize they've got a strong defense. What was your reaction to the response you got on Twitter? The New York Jets have won their first game of the season. They knock off Tennessee. We, we lost, and I just had to take my lumps, and I wasn't deleting it. I stand by it. I've called her Bill a few times. She's not a fan, right, Bill? I can't call you Bill Cowell because you're a real cute Bill Cowell. I think I tweeted out, uh, take Bill Cowell to the playground. Bill Cowell needs juice. You have three daughters, and I have three daughters. How about this wager this week? Why don't you name your second daughter, if they lose, JB? AKA JB, right? Look, they, I could have a Boomer, a JB, a, a Nate, Phil, a Phil. Phil. Yeah, I don't, so that's got, fine. That's okay. I have that so much we'll, faith in my team. I love your confidence. You're a great yeah. fan. You got a great <laughs> family. Good luck this week. Hi, Coach Keller. <laughs> But uh, I had confidence this week as well, right? Right. Yeah, so I, I, had, I had daughter's names for days. I wasn't going to lose this next one. Uh, anyway, uh, you were there, but your, your view was a little different than mine. I was, uh, I was in the sun. Anyway, here's, uh, here's my road diary from uh, our trip down to Jacksonville. Take this, Bill Cower. That's the Jacksonville Jaguar T-Rack, you're way better. Cameron Batson in the Wildcat. Sonny in Jacksonville. He's gonna do it with his feet! He's gonna do it with his feet! Loving it, loving it, loving life. Loving life. Loving life. Big man making the stop! 
having a good day. Almost effortless, at least on my part. Uh, Mr. Bill Cower, I respect you immensely, your resume, your football prowess, but my Titans, my Titans pulled out the tub with nothing but passion in their hearts, and uh, my daughter's name's on the line. Love you, man. See you down the line. Tighten up. <laughs> oh, so I just have the one Bill Cower. And that's it. And the girl, the girls' names are fine. Uh, I had some fun with Coach Cower, obviously. But I mean, did you ever eyeball a coach uh, during a game or after it was over, or, or have a little fun, knowing that you got the better of a team? Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. Sometimes. Who was your favorite coach to go against? Um, my favorite coach. Who'd you love to beat? Who'd you love to run all over? Um, I love to go against Rex Ryan. Rex Ryan, oh, right, yeah, because of yeah. his defenses. Yeah, because of his defense. Okay. And, you know, he always had a personality, always had the funny interviews, and he, he always liked to talk mess through the media, too. Yeah. Yeah. So you like to shut him down. Yeah, yeah. You shut a lot of coaches down. <laughs> Very famous for that, CJ. All right, guys, uh, we've got a little trivia on this side. Got some uh, prizes to give away, so do stick around. We've got more Titans Blitz on the other side. We will be right back. Let me hear you. <laughs> Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith coming to you live from Nissan Stadium. Got some special guests here with us. Got some special guests in the audience. We are celebrating our crucial catch game. Uh, we have breast cancer survivors in the audience. And now joining us for this special edition of the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. We have some very special people, but let's go ahead and roll the segment title because I love it so much. Hit it. That sounds like we're going to a heavy metal show. I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, so uh, to my right, here we have Lisa. How are you doing, Lisa? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Now I understand you're a doctor. I am. You specialize in this field. I am. I'm a breast surgeon. Breast surgeon. So mm -hmm. do you feel just like a total rock star hero here <laughs> with all these survivors here? I'm actually really humbled by all the survivors. I bet here. you are. I, I really am. Are. Well, thank you for all that you do. Yeah. All right. And Kevin over here. Yeah. Kevin, how you doing? I'm wonderful. Thank you, Lance. I understand that you uh, you are the husband of a survivor. That is correct, which yes. Which makes you a survivor as well. Uh, oh. She is my inspiration. Yes. No kidding. No kidding. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, thank you for being here. I'm humbled by it. Uh, well, I'm thank you. in y'all's presence. Now, are you ready for this? This uh -huh. is a tough game. I guess it's going whether I'm ready or not, huh? <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, they arm wrestled before we started. Lisa won. So I just brought paper scissors. Uh, so she gets the first question. We're going to go back and forth. There's a prize at the end of this rainbow. But are you ready, Lisa? Yes. Here we go. Question number one in the Titans trivia gauntlet. Which team did Mike Vrabel, our head coach, not play for during his career as an NFL player? Multiple choice, Lisa. Was it the Patriots, the Texans, the Chiefs, or the Steelers? Which team did he not play for? The Patriots. The Patriots, he had a remarkable career with the Patriots. Caught a lot of passes from Tom Brady, even though he's a defense. He didn't play for the Texans, coached for him. So moving on to Kevin, the score is tied. Kevin, the term red zone <laughs> refers to the offense getting inside which yard line of the opponent? The five yard line, the 10 yard line, the 20 yard line, or the 25 yard line? The red 20. Zone. The red zone starts at the 20. One point for Kevin right here. All right, Lisa, time to catch up. Next question. Which player did Steve McNair share NFL co-MVP honors with in 2003? Was that Kurt Warner, Eli Manning, LaDainian Tomlinson, or Peyton Manning? 2003, Steve McNair, best in the league along with this guy. Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning, you knew it, right? Of course she did, hear that bell? She's tied up with Kevin. All right, Kevin, here we go. What color is the dot? on a quarterback's helmet that indicates the helmet is wired for radio communication. Is that orange, red, green, or black? I'm gonna go with red. Gonna go with red. Probably should have gone with green. The score is still tied though. That's all right, that's all right, all right. You have a chance to take the lead here, right here, Lisa. Here we go. Who was the Titans opponent for the Music City Miracle way back when? Was that the Bills, the Giants, the Texans, or the Dolphins, Lisa? 
20 years ago. The Music City Miracle. I'm gonna go with the Bills. You should go with the Bills. Yeah, we're taking them on again. Lisa's in the lead. <laughs> All right, here we go. Final question. We're gonna tie it up maybe right here, Kevin. Uh, in which roster category would a player... Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong question. Ryan Tanner was born July 27th, 1988. Which Tom Cruise movie premiered in theaters that same week? Which Tom Cruise movie appeared in theaters that same week? Was it Top Gun, Days of Thunder, Cocktail, or Risky Business? Days of Thunder. Days of Thunder, the racing movie. It was actually <laughs> Cocktail. That means Dr. Lisa wins the game. <laughs> Give her a round of applause. She has won an autographed football from none other than our own Ryan Tannehill. Titans Trivia Gala, Lisa, congratulations, and thank you all for being here. You're all heroes of mine. Uh, guys, we got more Titans Blitz on this side. CJ2K will be back. Stick around. We'll be right back. Don't sell that. live at Nissan Stadium with none other than Chris Johnson. Uh, big game coming up, in case you hadn't heard, uh, Monday night football here at Nissan. It is our crucial catch game. We're bringing awareness to, uh, to uh, catching cancer early. It's also a very cool thing. We've got this interactive show happening that you can be a part of. So if you're coming to the game, Monday night football, make sure your Titans app is updated so that you can be a part of the show. We'll walk you through it once you get here. Uh, all right, so uh, Chris, big game Monday. You've yeah. been a part of big games. You know what this is like. What are the players feeling right now going into it? Because the Bills, yeah. they're the big bad Bills right now. Yeah, they is. Yeah, they're gonna put up a lot of points. Uh, just watching them play, they throw the ball all over the field. Uh, got two good receivers. The quarterback yeah. playing well. Um, he playing MVP caliber right now. Yeah. Well, I, I kind of feel like. I mean, not that the Jags are anywhere near the Bills, <laughs> but I felt like it's a good game to play prior to them because Trevor Lawrence is a big mobile quarterback and yeah. similar in that way. Um, do we need to put up 40? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we definitely we definitely going to have to put up some points, but you know how it is. As long, long as we can score more than they score or whatever, but they, they offense is clicking right now. Yeah. And um, we just gonna have to put up some points. And what do you see in uh, their receiver in Stephon Diggs? Oh uh, man, great route runner. One of the best route runners in the league right now. Yeah. Um, real good, getting separation, catching the ball, going up top um, for their offense and stuff like that. I, I was gonna say, I often see him with a huge distance between the nearest defensive back. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of guys in the league that can catch the contested stuff. DeAndre Hopkins, I think about. Mm -hmm. But he, Diggs always seems to be by himself. Yeah, yeah. He know how to run routes. He know how to get wide open for his quarterback. So, you know, he make it easier on his quarterback to throw on the ball yeah. when he that open. Talk about the lights. Talk about playing uh, under the lights. You, know, you, you mentioned, you know, yeah, you'd love to be on the field, but, you know, there's a lot of work yeah. that goes into it. And really mm -hmm. the game is playtime yeah. in a way. Um, a guy like you that had such flash when you played, did you feel faster under the lights? Is there, is there something that changes in you when you play under? Yeah, Monday night is different. That's like you growing up, you remember the tunes of Monday night. Mm -hmm. Everybody is watching the game. Um, everybody's at home ev around the world at bars everywhere watching the game. It just feel different. Like it's a di different atmosphere, adrenaline yeah. going through your body, all that. Like. Do you still feel a little bit of that when you watch the games? Because you um, just know it so much? Nah, it's not the same. Oh. It's not the same gotta at all. got to be out there. Yeah, you got to be out there. It's just different. You get chills through your body when you run out the tunnel. Yeah. 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 Uh, the Titans, obviously, I mean, we're going to be home underdogs because we're facing what they're now considered the number one team by power rankings uh, in the league. Is there less pressure on us in a way? I think it's less pressure on us. We ain't got nothing to lose. Yeah, it's still they, leading the division. Yeah, we leading the, the division. They're number one right now, so it's no pressure on us. We just gonna go in there and play our game, and hopefully, hopefully, we the close in the game, mm -hmm. are leading, so we can stay in our offense. If they go up by a few touchdowns, sure. then guess what? Derrick Henry gonna be on the sidelines. So right. No. That, that'll be tough for us. I've seen that. Well, the reason I ask is there less pressure because I guess do you. Do you play looser, maybe, uh, in these last few seconds? 
Yeah, I feel like you still play loose. Yeah. You still play loose. We're not, ain't, ain't nobody too many people gunning for us. Yeah. Everybody gunning for them. They're the top dogs right now. No, that's true. Listen, I, I, I love me some Derrick Henry, yeah. but I'd love to see 28 back on the field in time or two, man. It'd be good to see you out there again. Uh, Chris Johnson, thank you so much for being here. To our breast cancer survivors, thank you for fighting and thank you for being here, guys. Money